They're loading materials and positioning plows for quick response where weather strikes. David Amelotti is live for us tonight, breaking down efforts on both sides of the river to keep people safe tomorrow. David. We're live right now at the city streets department where those trucks are stored. And if you look behind me, you can see those plows are attached. These trucks ready to roll out. This could be a very busy area tomorrow. I talked with crews on both sides of the river that tell me they're ready for whatever is next. What do you do is actually you pull this one out, drop it down, and you're already unhooked. For Jeff Via Vicencio and his crew, winter weather this week is like their Super Bowl. It could be you know, five inches are calling, you know, I heard 12, you know, I mean, I've seen 12, you know, I mean, I don't know what what's going to happen. His fleet includes seven plows, clearing roads and pouring salt, calcium and brine in Swansea, Fairview Heights, O'Fallon and Belleville. Is this a good first run for your crew or would you prefer maybe something a little lighter? Oh, this is a good run. Yes, yes, you know, I mean, every every day is a challenge and we like challenges. The concern for any crew, including the Illinois Department of Transportation, strong winds and sub-zero temps. And that's really difficult to have a plan when your route length is two and a half, three hours. So you actually get one shot at the plan and it needs to be timed right. The city of St. Louis also tracking a 20 degree drop in a span of just a few hours. Once that temperature gets under 10 degrees, it's going to be very, very slow to actually see chemicals in that, that work. In St. Louis County, plows will tackle side streets while MoDOT prioritizes major highways and interstates. If you can park off the street, especially if you live on a narrow street or a cul-de-sac, please do so. I understand that that's not always possible, but if you can, that, that's extremely helpful for us. As for Jeff in Belleville, he's preparing for the worst and hoping for the best. You never get these kind of storms and you're just waiting to see which one is a good one. Now, MoDOT does have a press conference scheduled for tomorrow at 10 a.m. News 4 will be there. We'll share everything we learn both on air and online. Live at the City Streets Department, David Amelotti, News 4.